Um, Madam President, I think there are some who still believe that you are the President uh, and some who still refer to you as uh, Madam President. Thank you so much for making time for us. Thank you. Um, we are discussing 25 years of democracy in South Africa, but I'd like to know from your own perspective, if someone says to you, the essence of democracy is, how would you complete that sentence? To promote an open society in which all freedoms are allowed, in which people have the basic rights of choice, the rights of participation, and to show that those rights confirm that there will be no infringement in being able to constrain them reaching their potential. When you think back to your earliest memory as, as, as a young girl in Liberia, do you think that at that time the country didn't have that? What you described as the essence of democracy? No, my peer didn't have that then. We, we had uh, a benign dictatorship uh, for a president who was in power for 27 years. You Liberian people, I'm telling you today, those at home and abroad, Charles Taylor is only the mechanism for what you want. The society was not open. Um, it, it could make progress uh, because it was a benevolent dictator, but certainly um, that led to, to Liberia's own evolution and ultimately led to a coup d'etat and uh, so many years of conflict. We gather here today to celebrate the beginning of the end of civil conflict in our country. My people, the war is over. Never again. Does it pain you at all? Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. what's, what's the most hurtful thing that you can think of and say, this is um, Ellen as a young girl, and you would have yearned for, I think, silence and peace, and yet that wasn't the case? I think we did not see the kind of freedom that allowed the young people to pursue their endeavor, that gave them the opportunity to determine their goals and to know that they could reach that potential by exercising all of the rights. Um, as a result, we, we saw in our rural communities, lives remain unchanged for decades. Uh, many of our young people looking for other opportunity where they could uh, operate, they could live in a free society, sought uh, to establish residences abroad. And so the country lost a lot of its talent um, because of the monopolization of power and privilege. Mm -hmm. And when does it then change? It didn't change really until, if, if I may be bold to say, when our civil war ended. Um, in the year 2000, 2003. I did not want to leave this country. I can say I am being forced into exile by the world's superpower. I will always remember you wherever I am. And I say to you, God willing, I will be back. And, of course, when we had uh, my own election in 2005, uh, we did. Uh, but, you know, an example of that is that uh, when I turned over after 12 years of being in office, uh, being the first democratic elected president to turn over to another democratic elected president, mm -hmm. it was the close to 80 years that this had happened in Liberia. So you can see the kinds of constraint that existed. Did we come to this interview to talk about Liberian politics? I thought we were talking about democracy. We, we, we're speaking about, but this is part of the no, process. No, 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 no